tribute. I couldn't yeah. think of a freaking word. Words. Words it's the greatest are and best yeah. song in the world. Tribute. Hey, you going to put the half circumcised uh, sleeve on yours? Oh, no, <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> dead right I love it. This right. little <laughs> suck of this robot dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's not terrible. No, that looks great. You should really <laughs> you should. <laughs> check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Fucking day, right? We're checking the mics to make sure they sound right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to <laughs> the Gentleman's Den. <laughs> Kayla, Jeff, Sean, and our buddy BJ, after seeing a tremendous concert, Hell yeah. are uh, back in the den. Everything's so loud right now. Yes. It feels good. It's turned up to 11. It was. It, it was way. turned up to I 11. Like I hope I'm not yelling. Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> We, uh, good. Kale and I were not smart. Oh my god, everybody sounds like <laughs> We didn't get guys, earplugs. Uh, I'm very concerned. I was very okay. concerned. I was very concerned. I'm all right. All right. After the music got done, I was like, man, they need to like turn down the gain or something, something's <laughs> ringing. <laughs> and then I realized it was in my brain. <laughs> oh, all right. So, uh, our uh, shot today 17 years he's been gone. Brother Riverside, we miss you. Yes, sir. Salute. Salute, brother. Team drink. We got one for you guys, too. Oh, man. Oh, that's got a nice finish. Oh, wow. Does it? Does it is so wrong with your nice. palate. No. I got banana, but I've got mm. cinnamon. Yeah. It's oh. creamy. Little oh, honey. what Little the honey. hell? Oh. A little honey on there, too. Dude, mix that with... Yes, mix that with ginger ale. Oh. That would be... Ooh, daddy like it. Oh, Sorry. my God. Shout out Hollerhead. Yeah. Wow, I've here? never even heard of that. Hollerhead. Yeah. Banana whiskey. What the it's hell? Uh, Dana White's whiskey from the UFC. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I do not like... I've talked about this before, but I do not like cinnamon shit. I don't like okay. Fireball. I well, don't like see, big red gum. To me, that's too much. Like I don't like Fireball either, so I'm yeah. with you on that. Well, Fireball also, folks, is not whiskey, so stop fooling yourself. Ooh, what know. is Let's it? Let's go. It's a fucking schnapps. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's whiskey. It's schnapps. It's I don't know. Very nothing, nothing about that howler hat, though. Like, the, I, um, ooh, no. I like you. No. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, I would sip here. that. It's growing. Right it's growing on me. Ooh, I like that. Each shot. Yeah. Really. When we first took it, I was like, Yeah. Eh. No. When we first took it, I was like, I might puke. <laughs> yeah. And then the power went out. And then the power went out. That's yep. Good. Ooh, I am very warm. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the whiskey. Hey. That's the vomit just waiting. <laughs> That's waiting in the shadows to punch you in the liver. <laughs> the, <laughs> ca the carrots and cheese quesadilla are gonna be, <laughs> dude. I just woofed down a rabbit dinner and it was fucking awesome. And yeah, sometimes, you know, you got to make two. What it's you really got? Good. BJ came in hungry <sighs> and I? Uh, I had to scrounge up. I don't even feel like he knew that he came in hungry. Like, oh, no, he did. You were just making things. He took oh, he, no, he, I, he was talking when we left the bar. <laughs> he got very excited for a pizza. I was, I and then we a, went to a bar that has no food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We would have yeah. been at a bar that had pizza. Yes, <laughs> that's where I thought we were going. <laughs> we I've barely got two texts we from bartenders saying, "Where the hell are you?" Anyway, that's sorry. fair. That's all right. We had to see. We had to see people. We had to go yeah. see Dad. That yeah. was fun though. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. I'd never been to the annex, and <clears> it was what? always no. It was always good to see. Maybe once, but I really. When I was telling you, being yeah. in there, I don't remember that layout at all. So I don't think I've oh. ever been there. I've driven by it a thousand times. Yeah, um, that was nice. Yeah, it was, it's a nice summer bar because they got the outside. Yeah. It's a, it's a, Except like for the, the tiki deal they have. Yeah. Except yeah. for the mosquitoes that are like oh, yeah. the size of hummingbirds over there. Yeah. Yeah. Should I take this? Can I leave? Or leave it on? Leave it on. It's good. <laughs> you you want you want <laughs> you wanna show you wanna show the head or you want just it doesn't look as fast. Go ahead and pull back think. the skin, Jeff. No, we'll leave, <laughs> <laughs> leave it there. <laughs> He's about to circumcise mm -hmm. his microphone. Anyway. So we went and saw Grey Wind. Yes. 
Thank you guys for all coming to that with me. Thank you so man, much for inviting us. Yeah. That was fun. She was phenomenal. Jeez, How did you I hear like about her. them? Instagram. Really? All of a sudden, it popped up, and it was like, we're an Irish emo band. And, and, the, you were just and the music was playing, and I'm just like, I love everything. He, sa- he sent it to me, and I, I downloaded the album, and I was like, yeah, these guys are good. <laughs> They're really good. They're really good. Yes. But you know what? The album's great, but live... Dude, she, what a force that girl is on stage. Yeah. Yeah, she was really good. And sweet as can be off stage. Yeah, hugging yeah. everybody. Like, yeah. Um, even people that I probably wouldn't have uh, hugged. I, I don't. <laughs> oh, boy. Not to be mean. I mean, I know. Yeah. We're, we're, Milwaukee, we, Milwaukee's finest was out tonight, Ooh, was, um, baby. <laughs> we literally are standing at the end of the show. You guys are up being deaf. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the last band you were being old and we were old school old, leaning against old punk the rockers fucking, the marvels ver- what was that uh it was, it was no the, it was mortal Kombat. It was, it was, it was yeah we were against. leaning against mortal Kombat. it was an arcade bar okay i suppose we should clarify but um we we're pointing out the future dommers that there's were a guy. <laughs> future they're current there is a guy that walked up and there's the merch table and the dude just Grabbed a sticker, nobody's around, and he fucking just like stole oh, the sticker. And I'm like, son of a bitch. I'm like, come on, man. But, but also, what he was going for. Homeboy was in Larry Bird, <laughs> white socks up to his almost to his knees, dirty as fuck. They were gray. They weren't they they weren't white. <laughs> wearing slides at a fucking show. There was a now, lot. There was a lot. I looked at Jeff at one point and I said I should have worn my sunglasses because. And my face yeah. itself says it all, but if I can at least hide my eyes. So there was a couple people that stood out to me tonight. And the number one yeah. was the guy wearing the kiss, kiss me, I'm pan shirt. Oh, the- if you didn't see him when he first rolled up, when we were waiting outside in line, I saw him walk up and I said, I know where we're at. <laughs> that I know I'm going to tell you right now, don't ever take a drink from that guy. <laughs> don't oh, ever no. take a mixer from that guy i didn't get as bad of a mm-hmm. like a energy vibe he was, off of him no he was no. nice as i did from the from, sock slipper guy well yeah then we're leaving and bj's got all the stickers all over the g was the sock slipper guy in a red shirt yes, yes. yeah i know exactly <laughs> who the fuck you're talking about <laughs> yeah he, oh, I, how did he, i miss him he looked like do you he, remember, i don't know because he was picture, large do you remember and very short do you remember the movie <laughs> Do you remember the movie Weird Science? Yes. When they turned Bill Paxton into the giant pile of shit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you turn that into an actual human form, like the shape of it yeah. was that guy. Oh my God. It was it's the old jokes. It's you know, he wasn't he wasn't a form, he guy. was shaped. Like an actual red shirt. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, was a hoodie. Was it was a red was hoodie bright. with like basketball shorts, shorts on. Yep. Fucking sandals. And a fucking damn it, dirty it was like, ass socks. It was like tube socks, but they were falling down. Like they weren't. Yeah. There was no oh, elastic so like, oh, in there no. anymore. Oh, the and, yeah, they've been washed uh, <laughs> three hundred times <laughs> at minimum. But I will say this. So, all right, let me fuck that guy. But uh, <laughs> that place was what awesome. Called X Ray X Ray Arcade. X-ray. Man, absolutely awesome. love that place. Cool that place. venue was the coolest. Possibly will be places. back there on June eleventh. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, but. So, going back to the people that were there, <laughs> Kayla, who was your? Uh... I'm not even. Oh, I will. I could be such a piece of shit right now and just call out a million things that I saw. However, <laughs> what I will say is, for the wide variety, there was just like such a wide variety of people That's there. True. It was a plethora. That, of, and e- but everybody got along. Yeah. There was no there bullshit. Was no we talked problems. about that on the way home. I love punk rock shows. Dude, yeah. it was cool. Never Did you fights. guys notice the old white haired couple sitting at the bar? Yeah. Yes. And never stopped doing this. Yep. They just were into it. Yeah, because I, I saw them get in line when we were waiting. Yes. To go yeah, in, they and they were I was there like, early. do they know? Where Do you, they are, are you aware of what's happening? But they knew. <laughs> but they knew. <laughs> honestly, from the first band to the last band, it was one of the best shows I've been to. Yeah, it was wild. Every yeah. fucking yeah, band was good. Five of them. It was, and I'd never, I'd only heard of Greywind. I'd never, I don't, I didn't pay attention at all to who else was yeah. playing that night. I'd never heard of any of them, but they were all phenomenal. It was cool, man. It was really cool. The first band started out 
and you're like, oh yeah, that's a good man. You know, I can like, see that. They're good, yeah. It, you, but you could tell they're like newer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're, you're, next band came up. You saw they had they were a little more seasoned. Yeah. They, and that girl's stage presence was mm -hmm. she was Dude. tiny. I bought their shit. Like I bought the CD and I bought. Uh, they had a hot sauce. Like they did have a hot sauce. <laughs> oh, is that who had the hot sauce? <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Um, but I now I can't think of the name of the band. Uh, Gold Step. Thank you. Nice. And uh, well, no, was that not? Yeah, Gold Step was the girl that. Yeah, was the other the, one was uh, that blonde. The next band after that was uh, the dudes from LA. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Which had high energy. Good. Yeah. Good. Like uh, taking good back something. Sunday well, on crack. Okay. Like holy shit. Good times. No, it was it was uh, it, good terms. Good terms. Is good what terms. It was. That was the name. It did okay. sound like they were saying good times. I, yeah, because I didn't know the name of their hell band, yeah, and it sounded like it was just hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> brother. That was their thing. That was their shtick. And I looked at Sean. And I'm like, oh, this is your band, dude. And they were good, <laughs> super good live yeah. presence. They were great. Uh, yeah. Guitar, guitar play. Like, damn, dude, what? that big dude. Yeah, that dude shredded. Voice though, yeah. like when he'd sang it, I was like, "That's coming out of him." Yeah, that yeah, very high. Pitched. Some surprises. It was yeah. nice. You know what surprised me? Not one fucking bass player to be found in the whole night. The whole night, Even all the yeah. way to every the last band. band, no bass player. That's um, crazy. the first band had a bass player. Yes, yeah. they did. But the rest of the bands, I don't believe, had bass players because they were local. They were on those the first band the first band, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, so was yeah. uh, the second band was too. Second band. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. But they, like I said, they were a little more seasoned than the next band. Was a little more seasoned, yeah, played a little yeah. bit more shows. Then Grey Wind came on, and that was their first American tour, so Ooh. they were fucking wow. extra juiced. And then the band Good Terms was playing guitar and drums for Grey Wind, yep. because they're a brother sister combo. And I don't know if they they couldn't. I don't think they could afford to fly the whole band out, or if they even have a whole oh, band. It yeah. could just be them, and they have just people for the studio to make yeah. the albums. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but yeah. they are, they were cool as hell, man. And then the last band was a no, yeah, Boys of Fall. Boys of Fall, yeah. The power. That was crazy. They yeah. were so good. <clears throat> and we were we were talking about the lead singer, and I'm not shitting on the dude at all because I, he was more like the growler, did all the yelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That guitar player sang his ass off the whole yes. show. Oh killed it, dude. Such a good voice. And they just shredded. It seems like that guy... The guitarist didn't have the scream and growl to him. He just got yeah. that. So, so he had that. The front man, I guess you would say, yeah. had that aspect. But when they both sang, they sounded exactly alike. Yeah. Yes. Like, the harmony it was, was really good. Yeah. I wonder if See, they were even brothers. That, See, it, yeah. I was thinking Dalton, that. which we met our friends there that we didn't know we were going to be at the show, which yeah, was, that was cool. Was was cool that too. Was and Dalton was like, oh, you got to hear this guy's voice. I don't know if he knew. That it was two dudes. Oh, because if you're just listening, that's a good point. Oh, yeah, because if you the vocalist, yeah, it was yeah. is really really good. But there's two technically. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. oh totally. Vocalists. That guy sang. I don't know that dude. It was, I looked at Jeff though. I was like, I was like, that was that guy that kept walking by, and he was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Super <laughs> nice dude. <laughs> Before he was starting, like I thought he was just like some, you know, backstage dude. He's I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. They were all <laughs> and everybody was cool. It was, yeah. yeah it was good time. There wasn't like, um, there was no feel at any point of ego. anything no. going no. weird. No, that was really. I, it, and we were talking about this. It, it was a show that you felt like if you grew up in this area, mm -hmm. like at the old Wonder Bar, where we would go to empty cell concerts and we would go and just mosh and be idiots <laughs> and beat the shit out of each other for fun. And, and our shitty band friends with shitty bands would yeah play, but, with and we would food. all just and just have a blast soak it mm -hmm. up oh tonight was nostalgic as hell yeah, like, that yeah was was awesome. an... and all of the arcade games dude i got a picture of all of us playing the ninja <laughs> turtle game yeah I, uh, what did i say i was like i was just like the happiest i've ever been <laughs> like it was such a moment of it was we were 15 oh, again yes god yes yeah. just and dumping quarters into the machine quarter to play a game, whereas now everything is a whole dollar to play the game. But, that dude, was it was great. It was absolutely And I great. forgot how hard that goddamn game <laughs> is, dude. The Ninja Turtle game? Yeah. Weird, weird. If you're Raphael, you're screwed. Yeah. You know, that I was had, rough. I had never actually played that game. I am so proud of you. 
I had never played you that game. You did good. I was getting and, my ass fucking and kicked. And I beat Jeff's ass at Mortal Kombat. I was yeah, next. That we were playing the Avengers, uh, the Avengers <laughs> game. <laughs> well, yes, were, what, we we flip flops. We just got done playing Capcom versus yeah, X Men. Yep. They were doing or Mortal Capcom Kombat, and then we went over to the. Then we went um, over to the Captain Avengers. America and the Avengers. Yeah, that was a fun one. God, that game's so old. Dude, Cap, good yeah, call that, on that, being Cap. Because throwing yeah. the shield is so oh, yeah. effective. Like, I was vision. I couldn't shoot anything. Like, I'm like, this is stupid. Anyway. Watch out, Mama. You want a shot. One. Oh, Mama wants a shot. No, it was it was one of those nights where it was like, man, after like, especially after like the last two weeks I've had mentally, yeah. that was a good mental fucking break. Mm-hmm. It was so fun. Yeah. Well, like you said with the shows that, the Wonder Bar. It was like yes. so. We were at a punk rock show playing so arcade games. Like, like yeah. dude, it was nineteen ninety something. It was crazy. Again. It was, and there was weird kids back then too. Yeah, yeah. It, so it it all evened out at the end. Yeah. yeah, I knew a couple kids with some loose socks. Fantastic bartenders. Oh, the bartenders oh, were yeah. awesome. They were hustling. They remembered shit. They were wonderful. They were phenomenal. Yeah, they were. Dude, good. X in my in my eyes, X Ray is if there's shows getting played a lot at X Ray, fuck going to the rave. Oh, I agree. One hundred percent. I will go. Tickets to, were seventeen dollars. Yeah, for five for bands that were all great. That was awesome. There was yeah, it was like I said. I was I was so surprised at how good each band was. Yeah. Last punk rock show we went to. The band, the first, the one band when we got there, we were just like, "Holy balls! This is what we got. This is what we got to sit through all night." Oh boy, where was that at? When we went and saw Wonk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was yeah. the last time I went to a punk show. Where was that at? Somewhere in Chicago. Yeah, okay. so yeah I can't remember. Chicago. It was. I mean, the venue was awesome. I mean, backstage was awesome because we got tuned up. <laughs> oh yeah. We got real drunk. Jeff was doing fucking T Rex noises out at the, on the street. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, you'll have that. Yeah. But Gonka's band came on, and they were fucking good, dude. I loved listening to those guys when they're, especially when the girl with them, because before he never brought it, his girl wasn't singing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, no, everything were. evened out. The band sounded good. The guys that he had behind him were all. Don't be wrong; they're all coked up, but <laughs> oh, shit. they. I, I'm. I, Every not, great band is. I'm not. I'm not putting anybody's fucking business in the streets, but I thought the dude was hitting a vape pen, and he was just. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm like, good thing that was after your set, bud, because you would have just been playing some Slayer fucking <laughs> <laughs> at the drums. Oh shit! But yeah, man, I was. Man. I'm. I'm happy we went tonight. That was a that was a good team yes, bonding thank experience. You. Thank really you for the invite, was, man. That was, that was yeah, I'm yeah, that just was. pumped. I was dead set on going by myself. And then I'm like, How dare you? Who would actually enjoy this? And you guys were the only people I could think of. I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Like I, anytime you want to get into some I'm bullshit. A, I am now a fan of five bands. Or five, or four more bands. Yeah. So I was already a fan of but Green Wind in the first place. Hell yeah. That was cool. So you guys got I to talk to her. everybody on Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, so I told BJ, I go, dude, I guarantee at this show, I will get make sure you get a picture with the with them. Yeah. And they came around the corner. I go, hey, BJ, before everybody gets to him. And he just goes, holy shit. He's like, he's like, <laughs> he's so right excited. there. And I turn around, I'm like, oh. And she had, <laughs> I fangirled so yeah. hard. I was like, <laughs> uh, then he, he has me his phone and he has it on video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad and, you noticed that and too. I, and I'm and I, and I was a bit under the influence, so <laughs> yeah. I'm hitting the button and it's just I keep seeing the thing pop up and like after the third time I'm like oh hold on a second, that was on video, <laughs> so I got to hug him longer. Yeah, yeah. but it was cool. So here's a dynamic that I, I appreciate about them. Um, they're like let's put you in the middle instead of like you know I'm on the side and they're yeah. over here whatever. Yeah. they they freaking surrounded me. I'm like it was like a family that was photo. a tactic. It was yeah. That is a great way to put it. They are genuine as hell. Um they were very kind, very patient with everybody that they talked to because I was watching that. And then later after that was all done, I had the CD in my pocket and I'm like I should have him sign it. Yeah, and so the see him again. <laughs> right? I'm like so the guitarist from uh uh Good Term yeah handed me a marker i'm like do you have a marker and he handed me one and they signed it and everything and 
You mean um, 1993 Chandler Bing? Yes, man. <laughs> dude. The dude looked you're I not looked wrong. at it and I wasn't I'm not even like a giant friends fan, <laughs> but I have friend I have my friends like Ashley loves friends. And so this dude walks by, gets up on stage and I'm like, "Holy shit, he looks just like Chandler." <laughs> I was like, "Jeffrey, Jeffrey, doesn't he look like Chandler?" <laughs> and, and, the, guitar. and the re- and the reason why is cuz he had the haircut. Yes. Yes. He had a 1996 mushroom top. It was oh, my yeah. really high haircut for your prom. Yes, 100 <laughs> percent. Put it right down the middle. But the dude What's crazy truck, is he was uh, a good oh, fucking yes. guitarist. Yeah. So when you're at a when you're at a uh, when you're at a venue like that, like that, I didn't know any of the bands. Right, sure. none of us did. Besides yeah. maybe Grey Wind. Mm-hmm. Um, but they were walking around before oh, they yeah. played. Yeah, we had no idea. So, like, you'd be seeing them, and you're like, Gee, what the fuck is this guy wearing? And then all of a sudden, he's up on stage, and it's like, oh, shit, he's fucking shredding Crazy that talented. guitar. So, yeah. what else made me laugh about Chandler Bing is, <laughs> dude was wearing a Van Halen. Yes! Yes! Van Halen tour shirt from oh. 2004. I'm like, I think I was at that show. <laughs> they actually then, played a van they, they played yeah. jump they played jump that surprised the hell out of me and very good actually they did they they made it metal at, towards the end it was like yes it. it was pretty cool I, we were talking about the whole floor i'm going <laughs> had a little going flex through? to it like everybody was jumping it was, it was going yeah. yeah because i mean jump is a, yeah. they just turned it into a just a completely a different version, version like, a, yeah. like a like a it was it the was, chorus it, of jump was like a mosh pit style it was like jump, a yes. jump jump like it was it was a modern day like party anthem yeah it was yeah. awesome uh, i liked go. it a lot it's like i wonder if, if that's on their album i hope oh. they only do that live to be honest mm. i'd like to hear it again though maybe i gotta see yeah. them live <laughs> well that's the thing is you know there's yeah, they were all just so good <laughs> like i said it, and sorry, we're kind of nerding out over these bands, but I'm jumping all over. It's the it's it was... the first time in a long time that I've been to the show a show, and you're like, oh wow, the opening bands didn't suck. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, normally the there's, I mean, like, even, even the local bands, you bands. can tell that they just do local band, you know, yeah. local spots and that. But it was, man, they were good. That really fucking good. That first one did the cover of Lincoln Park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and at first I was like. I'm not sure. And there was a female singer. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if instead of rapping the lyrics, she's singing the lyrics. I'm like, okay, okay, that's an interesting choice. And then she got to the screaming part like Chester. And that yeah. I told her later, I'm like, your fucking scream is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Which is an odd thing to tell a woman. But <laughs> but then I was like, but your singing voice is amazing too. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Yeah. But yeah. dude, you fucking belted it out. She's like, oh my God, I think it's amazing. Yeah, like, super mouse, super, super, super sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Like not where, who was just on stage a little bit ago. Like no, she was just, very. The craziest and, thing is yeah, when they got off cool. stage, how grateful they all were that yes. people were oh, there. Yeah. That was neat. Like God, I, I want to go back. Like <laughs> if you, I'm definitely going back there. If you, that place, that place if, is awesome. If you go and see, you know, up and coming bands at small venues, you're going to understand that you buy a T-shirt. That means they're getting McDonald's. You buy a CD, yeah. you're, that means they're getting food. Well, that's why taking the sticker is just yeah, such yeah. an extra douche. It was it's like five dollars or, or I think for a, or three dollars for a right. sticker. It wasn't even that much. Yeah. If you like the band, support Pay the band. For it, yeah. right. That dude showed up like midway through the whole thing. Yeah. That's he just looked like a town like the, the ski local guy town just kind of walked in. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I well, BJ we bought a lot I of cheeseburgers. <laughs> I have a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bands and T-shirts and CDs. He's got a whole week of clothes. Yeah, I do. I'm very excited about this. It's Um, awesome. It was neat to see, like, they're working their own merch table. Like, Mm -hmm. there was, uh, it was, that surprised me a lot. But that, So you guys, it's funny you say that because you guys bring that up. I ended up calling Ashley on, well, no, I texted her on the way home because somehow I got on the talk about like gold house and i said yeah we went down to chicago back in like 2010 2011 to see gold house and i was like i'm pretty sure like two of our friends were like their sound guys and Mm -hmm. so i was like you know who would know is ashley ashley would fucking remember Mm -hmm. 
So I text her. She ends up FaceTiming me. And she's like, no. She goes, I, they weren't their sound guys. It was Boozer and Sawyer. She goes, they were their merch guys. Mm, that's what it is. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. They no, like, people. you're right. Like, so merch, merch guys. Yeah. Like, they were selling that's merch. That's their, their role. That's their... I saw Red Hot Chili Pipers at <laughs> Das Fest last <laughs> August. That show was amazing. They play all popular songs with bagpipes. But they had merch guys. It wasn't the band, you know? Like Yeah, right. It was just neat to see them running their own stuff. And I saw Steph from Greywind come out, and she walked up. I don't even, I don't know if I pointed this out to you. She walked up and, and grabbed some money out of the tip jar thing that's at their table. Yeah. And she, like, bought herself a drink at the bar. I'm like, they're not even getting free drinks. That's crazy. And she, that's crazy. She had to take the tip money. So I'm like, holy crap. Because if you buy two of the CDs, it's, you know, they're $7 a piece or two for 10, which I didn't realize. And so I'm like, okay, we'll take the extra and like just tip them because good Lord. Yeah, yeah, right. If you saw the video of the tornado thing that they're driving, all these bands are, well, the, the main three are touring across the country. There's a tornado that came through like, I don't know, Oklahoma or something. I don't remember where it was. Mm-hmm. Well, they put this Instagram video up, and they're all in the van together. Like, are we gonna die? Because there's a tornado <laughs> right on the there. ground right in front of them. Like, oh shit! And then, was, and then awesome. there was a crack. Like, hey, look, it's actually gray wind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It was, yeah. But man, the the van life, the tour life, what they're doing right now, I, I just think it's awesome. Two kids from Ireland. Fuck yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, you discovered them, and then they. Just happened to be in Milwaukee. They kept That's asking. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Like, if we do a, because they would do, you know, UK tours and stuff. And they're like, if we went to the US, where would people want to see us? Yeah. And I was like, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. <laughs> uh, okay, Chicago, but Milwaukee would be yeah. nicer. And they did. Cut a hay. Yeah. And speaking of which, the uh, guy for the last band. What's up, Chicago? Oh, oh, yeah. That was so funny. He called it out wrong. He fucked up. <laughs> I mean, that's where they were last night. So yeah. I, mean, I know. And then he was so embarrassed. He's like, I've never fucked up with city I'm in before. <laughs> he was just laughing it off. Like, so oh. fucking. It was cool. It was the, like, yeah. he couldn't even, like, that first song, like, he couldn't even sing it. Like, he started and then he stopped because he was just laughing at himself. <laughs> He's like, what the from fuck fucking up did the city? I just do? Are you kidding me right now? He's Who never going to live it down. Was it good term that? Was like, uh, oh, you guys are all Packer fans, right? And yeah. then everybody's Bear fans here were like, boo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't say shit because I'm like, I know where I'm at right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surrounded by oh. these. Oh, oh, fuck them. All of them. Fuck great. them all. No, I, you know, I didn't know Kill I didn't know what to expect. I didn't feel sure. like yeah, fighting sure. my way out of yeah. the concert. Are we throwing down or what? Well, what's happening? Yeah, I would throw down with them. Kayla just said she was going to fuck them all. <laughs> Every last one. Boy, that's that's there was Whoa, there was a, a there was a few STIs yeah. in there. Maybe. All right, I'm glad I'm glad the mustache is back, but let's leave it to the guys that can grow them, okay? <laughs> For there the was a lot God. of there was oh. a lot of molestashes in there tonight. A lot of thin. The one guy when we walked trips. up. So by the way, we were the first people in line Hell at this yeah. thing. The doors Hell opened yeah, at brother. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> at five forty-five, we were standing there because we're. That's what we do because we're old and, and we, we like to be punctual. So but thirsty. it was great. The door opened. It was like, oh, you can come in angels. now. It was great. Yeah, yeah. I'd never been. Uh, uh, I think I've ever been first. For no, anything. that was cool. The Besides Kayla's, it's her first. <laughs> That's wow. what you said. Remember? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Immaculate conception with the <laughs> <Yeah>. twins. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Oh my! <laughs> what? I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I totally lost it. I yeah, just remember yeah. the band that they played their last song and they're like, this one's going to, we're going to play this one hard. And I was like, oh, Jesus, did they just take some Viagra? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get weird. It's, it's the new Cialis commercial. <laughs> Maybe we should leave now. You might uh, want to just back up just in case. <laughs> just back up just in case something projectiles yeah, off the, the 12 stage. Year, the 12 year old in me just <laughs> lost my shit. <laughs> We're going to play this one hard. Oh, I'm like, oh, shit. no. And then, <laughs> oh, no. And then Dalton got to be in his element for about two minutes. Oh, where he was no. ki- He was kicking and spinning. and Dude, I saw him doing the old school freaking oh, Scott Oh, he was out there. Oh, like, yeah. He's a tall dude. 
Mm -hmm. Like, he was kicking somebody. Like, his reach was amazing. I know. Poor guy. He got so excited the first time that we thought they were going to open up, you know, a whole pit. pit. And so he goes to run, and I, like, ripped his sunglasses off of his shirt and gave them to his wife. I was like, please take these. He, like, emptied out his pockets and gave it to Jenny before he went out there. When he hears pit, he's going to the pit. And then he found out there was no pit. It's so sad. It's it's like when you see uh, those videos of, like, the Labradors when they drive past the like body of water and they open the door and the dog just bolts yeah. right to the water. That was done to that pit. It was just, <laughs> then he's like, oh. then you see the look, just pure disappointment on his face. Oh, he yeah. got socks for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Loose socks. Yeah. Grace. I was, I was telling Jeff when we were standing back, cause I did, I ended up sending Jenny a couple videos of her in Dalton that I got. Oh. And uh, I was like, I just love that they're the same. Like, they're the same little shitheads they were, you know, when they first met. Like, and they love the shit. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they got. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, tell them how they got engaged. Yeah, at the youth concert, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. On, uh, on stage. Youth? On stage yeah. at the on youth stage concert. At the youth yeah. concert. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so they're all about it, man. Yeah. I love that band so much. Yeah. I feel like they, just watching them, do their thing. It was like the ultimate. Match my energy couple. Those yeah, guys oh, God, are yeah. the amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's when cool. when certain people link up, like what you can see forever shit in people, like in you yeah. guys that like you see forever shit, and those two, that's forever shit. Oh, yeah, God. they're gonna be eighty years old going to fucking show. <laughs> oh, they're gonna, <laughs> they're be, gonna the be the old couple. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes, all full circle. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. They're gonna oh, be that God. couple at the bar drinking a PBR, yep. <laughs> just Tall vibing ones. to the scene. Hell yeah. Because that's the beauty of the layout of the place. You can sit at the bar and still see it. Yeah. The, stage. Yeah. the sound is set up actually perfectly for how that it's building really is. Really nice. Because it goes from a 10 foot ceiling to rounded. A, a rounded vaulted ceiling. So, and they have the speakers up higher. So the sound's bouncing off that, the partition that comes down to the 10 foot ceiling. So the sound doesn't get past, it deadens all the deafening. When yeah. Hit, yeah. So you could stand in the yeah. back with no earphone, Which with is, no earplugs in. So when we when it first started, I was like, God damn, how are we supposed to order drinks? These bartenders aren't going to be no able to shit. hear us. And they have plugs and they had, in yeah. too, but you can still you can still yeah. But like you said, it like it cuts like it's loud, but, as soon but not as, like it's But as up soon front. as you cross that threshold, it punches you right in the fucking face. You feel it. Oh you yeah. Just yeah. feel it. <laughs> It was crazy, too, because obviously he was looking up at the pictures of the venue, and yeah. I was like, oh, it looks small. But then when we got there, I was like, this is even smaller than I thought. Yeah. But it's, it it's wasn't tight. But it's crazy. It still worked. Yeah. So like it, that's it, what I'm saying. I, that's why I really want to go with nice. that show on, because Free Throw's got a very big following. That show is going to be packed. And, that's cool. And it's going to be one of those sweaty fucking dudes well let's buy them in advance then like get them order them again yeah and it's gonna be one of those shows that's cool it's gonna be a lot of uh mustaches and pbr (laughs) it's just the mustaches they're so the one guy though where you were like is he one of the guitarists the dude had a fucking handlebar like but he he gelled it that one guy looked exactly like freddie mercury Oh no shit! Yeah, with tattoos, <laughs> the guy with the tattoos on it. Yes, I was like, Jesus Christ, that's oh, a stash. I just can't. It's the hipster stash. It's yeah. what it is. It's the hipster stash. But like they I said, all do it now. Then there was legitimately eight people there that looked like if they put the Dahmer glasses on, it was. <laughs> oh, no. we were skinny, walking. creepy, <laughs> sweaty. Ooh. Like we're, too came much in too sweaty. Guys. Like they, they were sweaty. They're just sweaty Sorry. looking dudes. No, they weren't just sweaty. They were sweaty. Mm-hmm. They were actually sweaty. Mm. There like, were a couple guys standing in front of us for, oh, what? I think it might have been Grey Wind. And they were vibing, and I appreciated the directly shit. Directly in front of you guys off yeah. the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But they were also talking during the fucking show. It drives me nuts. And yeah, and like yeah. the like one yelling guy. Yelling to each other really loud oh. while they're doing like a softer song. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Oh, I know. I saw your look. I got angry. Anyway. You you sorry. side-eyed them. I did. But then I saw the guy who was, like, vibing real hard, and then all of a sudden he was, like, almost kneeling. Like, he was crouched down on the ground drinking his beer. And I was like, what is wrong with you? 
All kinds of drugs. Oh, all the drugs. Yeah. All of them. That's okay. Like I said, they, they were there was odd folk, but I have never felt Everybody more comfortable. I want to know yes. what people you know, I, thought of me. I agree with you on that because like, what is this old fuck doing here? <sighs> but there was dudes in there that legitimately, <laughs> dude was wearing a fucking like baseball coach jacket. Like he looked like a gym teacher. Oh, he was a giant Grey Wind fan. Yeah, like because he came with that other yeah. guy that had the hipster oh, yeah. stash. I know what you're talking about. He was a huge fan. Yeah, it looked like a fan. looked like a baseball coach. He was right in front of us videotaping his yes, stuff, but he okay. had her like diehard face. <laughs> there was also the dude who in the men's bathroom, probably not the best place that I did this, but I complimented him on his jacket <laughs> because it was the disco ball jacket guy that yeah. had oh, also yes. the Taco Bell oh, Yokiro yeah. Taco Bell t shirt. With yes. the chihuahua. I can't underneath. believe that you complimented him. That in the was fucking awesome. I did. We're, uh, it he was had great. a lot of glitter on his face, he too. Did. He, he did, yeah. I didn't notice that till the bathroom. But, and the words were already coming out, so I just did. he have glitter on his penis? He did. Um, so I was next to him. <laughs> just on that. You got a little bit right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> when I saw that dude, I said to myself, he's got glitter on his cock. There's a 100. I'm not sure of a lot of things in life. <laughs> oh, that- but with one hundred percent certainty, there's glitter on that dick. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh no! The amount that was on his face, there, was, there had to be. He was might have Maybe glitter. it was on somebody yeah. else's. You know what was weird though? When he first showed up, like obviously I, I noticed him. He's by himself. The, he, that's a bold move. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. But <clears throat> and he had the the jacket. J- the mm-hmm. jacket on. I didn't see glitter on his face. I didn't see no, the glitter until he got Instantly. close. Yeah. Instantly I saw it. I didn't notice until I was in the back. <laughs> until you you had a handful but of Did you dick. guys realize did anybody pee during any of the music? When the lights red? Yeah. So I took a urinal selfie because it was just weird and I felt like I needed what? to document it. What like, were you doing? In this <laughs> what, is, what is happening? Let me explain. Let me explain. You know. so, because what? of that, I got to the <laughs> I, le- I left the red light on for you. <laughs> Get up there, baby. So the, during when, when the band is not playing, a normal light is on in the bathroom. It's yeah. bright, it's whatever. Um, they need to refill their soap. But that's another story. Then when the bands play, and I think it's because when you open the door, it's not distracting like a bright light. It's a red light, like you're in a freaking film oh. developing room. Oh, like no it shit. switches yeah. over. So then you're like, "What the fuck is going on? Like this is very different." So you're, you know, doing your business, and then I just nobody was in there because everybody was watching the show. And I'm like, "I'm taking a picture." <laughs> so I was just like, ha, 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 ha. and the red just lights fan hanging boy up on the ceiling. I did, I just had a good hey, time, man. man. It was a fun night. The oh, women's bathroom I, didn't how was light. How was that? How was the women's bathroom? Fine. And actually, Jenny, lines. I always wonder. It's, it was fine. But Jenny and I actually took a picture. She was like, oh, my God. She was, because we were talking about how it was cold in the women's bathroom. And I said, I thought it felt nice. Get close to the mic. Um, I said, but that fucking water was, like, scorching hot. Really? Yeah. I wish we had hot water. No, so the right, the, the right sink was cold. The left, I could not get it to go anything but scorching hot. Mm-hmm. And so we were talking about all those stickers, and she goes, yeah. She goes, I took a picture of this sticker that said, I just checked my bank account. And I said, I took a picture too! The same sticker. <laughs> and it's I one. love punk rock, it's, but I just the checked stickers. my bank account. So many pictures. And I can retire and get high all day, every day, without working for the rest of my life, as long as I die next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was... So when you're standing at the urinal, you know, it's just, you get a wall of stickers in your face all the way at the top, right where the ceiling and the wall met was this tiny little green sticker that just said, give orally. <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay. You could spend all night there just reading Dude, the there were so many. It was a lot. One of them was marker handwritten on the wall. I fucking hate my boss. Like it was aggressive, <laughs> like, like angry writing. I'm like, wow. Well, well you even oh. said it when we showed up because the, uh, the dumpster was just tagged with stickers. All the stickers on that dumpster. <laughs> like, I love it. Um, I don't know what company picks that dumpster up because that was how covered it was. <laughs> then they leave it and they're cool with it. Oh, and you it guys works. didn't get to see the husky pup mm. when we were leaving. Yes, we're turning around 
We thought somebody left their dog in the car, but oh. they were also sitting shotgun and smoking a lot of weed because yeah. all of a sudden we just got this puff in the car. We're like, oh, oh, oh what's happening? <laughs> Skunk? No. No. Um, but this dog was raring to go, like head out the, the peaked glass and people walking, leaving the, the bar, and this dog just wanted to play. Yeah. Ooh, that was cool. Sorry. I love huskies. They're adorable. They are. They just shed. They I, shed so they I have one, I have too. A, They're awesome. But. I have a pit husky, and he got all the husky hair. Mm, yeah. Yeah. But he is built like a shit brick house. Man. He's <laughs> yeah. He's awesome. I love huskies. It's, but it's yeah, like you a brick there. shit house. I'm going to call it a shit brick house. Okay? <laughs> shit brick. Shit brick. <laughs> exactly. Very yeah. high. Shit brick. Hey, shit brick. <laughs> You gotta take a, some people gotta take a shit break. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jeff, can, Jeff, Jeff can't poop in public. We've already had that. No, that it's was not fun. that I, I can. So I just hard. like my my butt knows what time it is, and it's not That's time the, to poop in public. Time. I can't ever <laughs> shit, and the only time that I can or need to shit is in public. It's usually how it works for me. Oh wow, that's that's not you're you're good. a lot more comfortable going to Target than you are at I, home to I, poop. I, Literally never can shit. It's because she just had a frappe. But it's the most inconvenient times that I will have to shit. Like we will be oh. on a car ride, like a long fucking mm. road trip. Oh, that's not fun. To right, to, like, but that's right. when it happens. Because it's I'm like a morning the time. all the time. I when I wake up and go vertical, <laughs> it's time. I know I have three minutes, and the choice is: do I make the cup of coffee now and sit there with it? Or do I just get it out and then relax with a cup of coffee? Because I like getting up early to be slow in the morning. Yeah. I get up extra early to be slow. No. But the, the complete it, opposite. No, man. It, I'm telling you. The, wow. We, this we old. topic really just went weird. Oh, no, it's all right. Um, yeah, I'm 100%. What's like, the best part about this podcast? Shit in the what morning. What topic? Shit in the morning. <laughs> morning pooper. I am a, I'm a big fan of uh, making sure I clock in. <laughs> Pooping on company time. Hurry up. Butt, butt holes. <laughs> stay together. <laughs> butt cheeks. Stay together. Let's go. <laughs> Same time every day, around 5 30. Yeah. After You're the first the after, song? after the cup of coffee, I'm just What like, time do you start? Five. There you go. Get everything logged in, get everybody started doing their thing. And then does I, your butt kind of know? Like mine does when I hit my street. 100%. That makes sense. <sighs> that is funny. Full routine. So it's just straight in the morning, or do you poop later on, too? No, unless I eat something that's janky, funky, and makes me feel weird. Hmm. But, no, it's morning. It's just... That's crazy. You know, I, I cannot like shit in the morning. Oh, I feel like you shit. I can't not. Day. That's the problem. I can't not. Depending so, on like... <laughs> depending on the diet, I could, I gotta I, I could that. get three or four in a day. <laughs> Woo! Nope. I've done it, but... I have taken... Senna, like straight crushed senna. What is senna? What is that? A laxative. It's a laxative. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know that. Like the whole senna leaf, like just that's it, right? I've taken that, two of them, and still have not shit for like two days. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know. Anybody here ever have a colonoscopy? <laughs> I have not. I can tell you some shit. I'm next. <laughs> Literally. Literally. I videoed and documented the whole fucking thing. Really? Did you do it, or you have it uh, scheduled? It's getting done soon. Aquaphor on the butthole. I'll tell you that you're gonna wipe a lot. Um, so Bro, man, get a bidet. I have I have a portable day, bidet at the house that I can hook up. Beautiful. Never mind. And I always it's have dude wipes fine. next to the fucking. You're gonna be just fine then, oh, kitty. The <laughs> shit that the process, like the procedure, is the best nap you'll ever take. It's amazing. Jesse Damey was my nurse, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eric's little sister. Yeah. That was odd. Um, <laughs> hey, thanks for manscaping before you came in. Uh, yeah. It's a you really know, big... I did. I tried. I, I was show, very she, particular. She's in a band, right? Where yeah, she, she sings. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's, she's in a hell of a singer. Yeah. We saw her at uh, uh, Blarney's. Blarney's Island. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. North County ago. Fair. I just saw her at last oh, year. Oh, no yeah. shit. Yeah. They're, she's very good. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, that was random. Uh, but the prep is the worst. Mm -hmm. So you go in and what they give you stuff to like bring home and 
How does it well, work? Well, once you make the appointment, you, 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 you go, you know, you pick up from the pharmacy your your stuff. All right, everyone chew your food and swallow it for... Uh, <laughs> it's magnesium uh, citrate. Here we go. The, the, the pharmacy tech looks at the order and just looks at me and goes, ooh. <laughs> Like, That's not it's not what I wanted. I no. did not need the ooh. She's like, "You're gonna have, you're gonna have a great day," and I'm like, <laughs> "I don't believe you, but that's fine." <laughs> there is a gallon jug that's empty, except for all the powder at the bottom of it, mm-hmm. and you have to fill this thing, which is nice. Now, as they give you this little like additive powder of lemon flavor, that's oh, is it chalky or a little bit, yeah. But it's better than, I suppose, nothing. And you have to chug two thirds of the gallon before bed. So this my, is the night before. Yeah. Okay. And then when you wake up, so my appointment, I think I had to be there at six. So I had to wake up at three to finish off the to rest. finish the rest of the third, clear everything out, and you know whatever. I'm thinking this is gonna be fine. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah, I'll chug it. Everything's great. You I can chug. Sleep. I know I can chug. Yeah. No, I didn't sleep at all, <laughs> dude. Twenty minutes after that first, because you're doing like eight ounce, ten ounce glasses. Yeah. Twenty minutes after the first one, I'm like, you you know, you get the gurgle. How did we get on this topic? Anyway, shit. We we're talking about <laughs> shit. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I should. I mean, I can go to the bathroom, but I'm also like, I don't feel like. It's dire urgent. Yeah. You know, it's okay. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go check. And I have a video of this, and I should just send it to you because it's not graphic. It's just a selfie video to see, like, what it's going to sound like. Uh. That was the quickest ejection of liquid holy shit <laughs> I have ever had in my life. And I felt my stomach get thinner. You <laughs> literally feel it drop out of your whole body and i'm like that was actually kind of awesome that felt really good yeah but then i'm like i have to do this 15 more times that's great i'm a little concerned yeah anyway all right <laughs> but but that one that one corn kernel that's been in there since Ooh, 1986 got i got it out, it's out now. jesus because that's the thing yep. they, they won't even i don't think they'll do it unless you you finish all of it and do it properly, and yeah, yeah, you have to. Be the clean. joys of getting old, right? Yeah. Oh wow, my we God. just yeah, we just went there. Sorry. Oh, oh. You have to go there. Go get your. Hey, I'm just I'm just <laughs> looking <laughs> forward to it. You know, I'm right there with you guys. Yeah, so it's fucking depression. yeah, you know, a <laughs> little bit, a little Punk bit. rock That's shows fair. do uh, you know, blow colonoscopy. <laughs> Hey, let me. Did they, did they just, What's a band we could name can, can I, for that? Can I ask you a question, BJ? Yeah. Did, did, did you hear this? Try to relax your anus. <laughs> <laughs> so I did tell them to be gentle as I was fading away, because I, I, the guy, I'm still a virgin. The guy liked his job. The guy liked his job, and uh, hi, kitty. Um, it was. It's like it's my first time. Please be gentle, and. And then I was out. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah. It's good times. And then it's over. I'm going to come. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I might have. I don't know. You know, they were milking the prostate. Yeesh. Jeez. Yeesh. All right. So, uh, milking the prostate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> One more time. We're, right, man. We're, we are a medical show, folks. <sighs> we do have a nurse do do? present. Hey, hey. Right? No. Ooh, yeah. Are we gonna get that on the <laughs> prostate check from Kayla? Better make it three. Three. <laughs> it's not part of my job description currently. Wow, the cats are taking over. This is amazing. Oh yeah, they're running free right now. No well, one... it's because no one's been down here for a couple days. Oh, you're gonna bite oh, me? Ma- we Mama bite comes down here all the time. Mama's. No, stop it. <laughs> this is like Cat Cafe. <laughs> Fucking rename this podcast the Cat the Cafe. Cat Cafe. The gentleman's Cat Cafe. Welcome in to the Weissmuller's Cat Cafe. Mama's got her tongue out as she's Always. being petted. That's amazing. Always. She's weird. Her. At least her breath's better. 
I'm proud okay, of you. Thank you. We've been putting for, drops for the in ones our who water. only listen to this podcast right now. Kayla is being mauled by oh, one yeah. cat while BJ pets the other one. I forget. <laughs> Not everybody. I always watch. You guys, I don't I always listen. Watch. He's I like to watch because I am. <laughs> he likes to watch. There's funny shit that happens that you just need to see. But you gotta see it. So many cat booties. All the cat butthole. <laughs> <laughs> For your Bro. viewing pleasure. Boy, if wow. you're following the uh, drink every time you see a cat's butthole, man, you're gonna be hammered by the end oh, of this episode. This, this one. one's rough. Yeah, this one's it. gonna be rough. For sure. Not man, sorry. I really want another drink. <sighs> How long have we been doing this? I don't know. Forever. 49 minutes going on. Mm-hmm. Good. What do you guys want to do? What else happened? Tonight? Yeah. How was okay. everybody's week? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good call. Recap. Uh, A little weekly uh, recap. Let me see. Anybody watch anything good? Um. Oh, BJ. You want to go into the uh, old X-Men? Oh. X-Men 97? <laughs> I mean, we don't have to give him any spoilers oh, wait. away. Did you catch up? So I'm not completely caught up. I think I watched two more after. Oh, I can't. Oh, my God. It gets better. Let me just say this. Watch it. X-Men. X-Men 97 X-Men. is the continuation of when we were children, 1992, the X-Men show. <laughs> it got cheesy. It got corny it got whatever but it was a lot it was of our youth it was close. great like yeah mm-hmm. but it was like it was our youth it was what we grew up with we we loved wolverine we loved gambit we loved you know cyclops was well he was a dick but <laughs> but they made this, him a boss in this dude world. this new series the first few episodes and i'm not going to do spoilers the first few episodes are hardcore nostalgia mixed with oh hello kitty <laughs> um, mixed with let's redeem some of the douchey characters of or characteristics of Scott yeah. and make Cyclops, you know, a badass. That happened immediately. But then they just decided to f- destroy our youth. Yeah. <laughs> it is not a kid's show. No. It's not. I started watching with Miles and I'm like, ooh. I don't know if you can watch this episode, bro, because yeah. people are dying. Like, this gets, wow. Yeah, that was pretty all I'm crazy say. in like, one episode. Emotional, wow. We realized at that moment the writers and the creators are not messing around, and they're going to take this hard. Like, this is going to be an emotional freaking devastation to all the nerds who grew up watching. I am so happy that it's a thing, though. Like, it's great! It's so, like... How many years later? Like Finishing to go back stories. and like and do yeah, it, close it up. I mean, but and do it in that it. cartoon yeah. style instead of making it like animated or mm-hmm. you know just more modernized. It, I guess it, um, it it's that classic. It matches. Classic. It matches artistry. And, yes. Oh man! But I'm excited too because I think it's going to open the doorway to like the other stuff we watched. Yep. Maybe the spy. I love the Spider Man. As a kid, and the Batman. Yes. Um, well, that Batman animated series ran for so long. Yeah. It was so good. Dude, the movies. Like, the, so the movies they put out are just... If they were live-action movies, they'd be Oscar-winning movies. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys remember Mask of the Phantasm? Yes. It's one of the best Batman animated movies of all time. I, I that was... Uh, I don't think so. Oh. Early 2000s on that one. Oh, no, that was 90-something. That was, was yeah. I thought that was like 01 or something like Look that. Look it up, because huh. now I'm, I feel like it was like 95 or 6. I still have the VHS copy in the, not the sleeve shell, in that plastic pop-open yeah, like shell. Like all the Disney ones yeah, were? Yes. Yeah, yes. They did that with Batman, and it was such a holy shit movie. As an animated movie, like, it was the darkest thing as a kid I'd ever seen. Like, I was like, oh, my God. This shit's nuts. Ooh, 93. Yeah. 93. Oh. God damn. It is good. What was the killing joke? That's that one? That's newer. Yeah. And that now, one, that comic is nuts, but I didn't watch the animated remake of you it. You need to watch adaptation, that. I should say. Ooh. These cats. That, man, I you know, guys are insane. just getting it. Um. Yeah, so X Men ninety seven has been Dude, uh, it's so a real treat for me. Oh. I mean, they are bringing back Masters of the Universe. Yeah, doing, are they the cartoon? 
Yeah, but it's like a newer style. Kevin Smith is doing the writing for it. So he they released, I guess you could call it a first season, or maybe it's just like a first part. Um, but I I believe the next one's either it just came out or it's coming out soon. Yeah. Um, my brother Andy, who's like a diehard He Man fan from back in the day, he's like, "There's continuity issues. It doesn't make sense from the old show. Like uh, they changed some shit, whatever." And me, who like was a very light fan because I was younger. Mm-hmm. I just loved everything about it. I'm yeah. like, dude, this is really cool. So we had a little conflict there. But um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It also hasn't been touched since like 1986. No, at all. So like, yeah, they made the Dolph Lundgren movie in sure. the you know late 80s. But yeah. Masters of the Universe was has been strictly basically a comic book since 1986. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's it was nice this Dolph Lundgren it. movie just so bad that they're like, we're never touching this it again was, or what? It's, they are making a new one with Helmsworth. Yeah, oh. Thor is going to be He-Man, which, yeah. I mean, it freaking lines up. It works. And he's because he's also doing the Hulk Hogan bio doc. Yes. God damn. So, yeah, he's wow. uh, he's he's juiced to the gills right Hell now. Hell yeah, oh, brother. Boy, it came full circle. Yeah, brother, it did. <laughs> I don't think we explained that. So was it good terms? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the band earlier tonight did this thing, which we found out at the merch table. He randomly did the singer randomly did it in like Arizona in or Arizona. their shows and said, hell yeah, brother or something. Or what was it? Hell, hell yeah. yeah. And then, the and crowd then said, everybody says brother. Yeah. And they got so into it, like unexpectedly. It stayed in that. They're like, we need to do this at every show. It was great. It became yeah. their thing. So, yeah, they're just screaming at the crowd. Hell yeah, and you say, brother. brother. And I look at Sean, who's like the biggest wrestling fan I've ever met in my life. And he's just like, yeah. fuck yeah, shaking his head happy. I was like, yeah, welcome welcome back to welcome everything I like. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, about brother. Nostalgia. That was amazing. Like I said, we were, it was, we were 15 again. For a moment in time. Yeah, yeah. That was a good time. Yeah, for but a we can drink. Time. Yeah. With, well, we legally, without guys, getting in trouble, <laughs> legally. <laughs> we, we could drink legally. Yes. 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 It was cool. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was a well-needed and it honestly deserved night for all of us. Yeah. It was a good escape. Yeah, was a good time. Escapism has been really important lately, and yeah. that's a good way to put it. it went a to good the, escape from reality. Yeah. I went to Comic-Con, was it two weekends ago? With Miles? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, C- yeah. C2E2. And just went for the day, and a couple hours we got a, a group photo with um, the Star Wars Rebels cast, uh, the voice actors. So it was Freddie Prince Jr. and some of the other people that nobody recognizes because they mainly do voice acting. Yeah, right. But, um, it was just, I love, remember when we went to that? Mm-hmm. Like that whole atmosphere and how the energy is just freaking through the roof. Yeah. Just, that was so fun. Yeah, it's, it's so good. And it was like once again, eclectic mix of people. Yes. Oh, and nobody's starting shit. It's like such a uh, positive. We know we're weird. We know you're weird. <laughs> Let's be weird together. Right. Show me how weird you can be. Actually, <laughs> safe place to just be your weird ass self. Weird self. And yeah. One hundred percent. Some of the cosplay shit is super creative because sometimes they like crossover mm-hmm. stuff and. I don't know. I love this. I'll never stop doing that stuff. It's so great. Yeah. Like I said, and then tonight, you, yeah. tonight was another one of those escapes. It, w- it was. It's it just, was a good like escape. we said, we were people watching earlier, and it's just people who would probably never hang out with each other Yeah, are in one Not building shot. hanging yeah. out. like, And just the music brought them all together. Mm-hmm. Totally. It's wild. So music is like, if, it's a drug I, in I itself, don't, really. I don't understand I mean, when people say they don't listen to music. <laughs> I don't understand that. Psychopaths. I don't. I. That's very concerning. That's a red flag. No, for sure. <laughs> like, like, oh, I don't really listen to music. What, what, what do you listen to in your car? Oh, the talk radio. No. People that don't listen to music and people that don't like animals, they all Ooh, kind of fall yeah. in the same category. Yeah. Me. Fuck them. Mm. Cool. Is it? Is it because your brain can't get that creative? Is it your autism that doesn't? Most of those people are always usually kind of off kilter a little bit too. Yeah. Those are the people that drive by themselves on a road trip. 
Because we listen in this music. Listen, listening to and the, we're going to sing the whole fucking Yeah, yes. listening to the wind blow in their ears the whole time. I do like it, though. Full disclosure. This might be one. Quiet car for a little bit. Yeah, it's the good deep oh, decompress. Yeah. This cat is so handsome. He's gorgeous. I don't know what to Maine do. Maine Coon, look at him. That's a blue ribbon cat right there. She's I it. I have this. What type of cat is this? Do you know? He's well, part he's Maine Coon. I don't know. He's a big old. Yeah, old he's ball. part Maine Coon. I have a a stray that has the greenest eyes, and I feed it every day, and it's it just lives outside. You got some wild animals over at your Dude, spot. You so got some many. raccoons. I have four raccoons, two possums, now two foxes. There was one fox, now there's two. Uh oh, they're kissing. Stop it right now. You two are adorable. <laughs> um look okay. at that. They're just holding it. Oh my god. Uh four deer. A flying squirrel. I did not know we had What? That. I didn't know we had those. Either. Yeah, at all. I There's, thought it was a bat until it clung it? onto the tree and started really? crawling around. I'm like, what is happening? I thought I've it was never somebody seen one. that got out. Yeah. No, they're nocturnal, they're cool as hell. Uh we have a couple bats. No shit. It's been it's been cool. Uh, how many cat? Did I say the cats? There are four oh, mainly, and then a fifth one shows up every now and then. Mm. So I just put cat food and marshmallows <laughs> and any fruit that I'm not going to eat and <laughs> shit stuff outside, and they all I want a raccoon. Fucking beastmaster so over here. I love. I so the raccoon. the raccoons are coming out a little bit earlier during the day now, and um, I was talking to my friend Kim, mm-hmm. who has raised baby raccoons and stuff, and. She's like, well, when they do that, that's the mom getting probably their food, and then they're going to go search to bring food to the babies. So mm. don't be surprised if you start seeing little critters coming up if yeah. you keep providing. And I'm like, I'm going to keep providing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to snuggle them. I, used to, I had a pet raccoon when I was in oh, fifth, fifth grade. And that thing, I'd ride my bike around the neighborhood, and it would sit on my shoulder. It was the coolest freaking Rhonda. That is she crazy. She was awesome. Oh. Because uh, my neighbor's farm, there was uh, all the hay and stuff, and we were playing around one day, and there was two baby raccoons. We're like, okay, we need to leave it. Let the mama come back for them. You know, do the responsible yeah. thing. The next day, there was only one. And we're like, okay, did she take one, or did one just run away or get eaten? We don't know. That was a, the one that got the hawk got. Yeah. yeah. So Rhonda, what we we named her Ronnie. And then found out it was a girl. So Rhonda, uh, but we bottle fed that we thing. Had like we had a we had a tree house uh, that it was hollowed out, like kind of rotted out, and so she would live in the hollowed area in the tree. We'd go up in the tree house. She'd pop out. We'd hang out. She loved Mountain Dew. She ate fish. <laughs> when she ate fish, she got a little crazy. It was awesome. She loved beer. Uh, my brothers would have parties. Mm-hmm. And the raccoon, I feel like I'm just going to go on a tangent. That's, That's fine. fine. That's fine. The, raccoon. The raccoon would come up, and if somebody would go on the backside of the pool house to go pee, the raccoon would come up and take his beer <laughs> and just drink it. <laughs> really? And this dude, one exact example, this dude screamed like a woman, freaked out, and was like, there's a raccoon trying to attack me. <laughs> my sister comes and gets me out of the house. I'm in my Batman costume is what I did at the time. <laughs> She's like, you fucking raccoons eating or drinking everybody's beer. And I was like, well, okay, that sounds fair. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right out. I'm going to go get her. But I couldn't find her. And then I hear this sound coming from the chicken coop, which is also my sister's. And I'm like, oh. that's, something's wrong. Like, that's not right. And I pop open the lid, and the raccoon is on her back. She is <laughs> drunk as fuck. And she's got a chicken wing in her mouth. And the chicken's doing this thing, like, get off me. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> So I like I lift her up and she's all just like, ah, you know, it was nuts. Blaze out of her mind. Marsha comes up, my sister. She's like, "What the fuck is going on?" I'm like, "It's all okay. Your Ron chicken's fine. Drunk. Everything's fine." Ron is drunk yeah. again. Yeah, I don't know how she got in there. Honestly, a little bit crazy. Ron, you know, uh, Rhonda gets on yeah, the liquor. She loves the liquor. <laughs> uh, but it was a fun experience. That was a cool pet to have. It was fun. I brought it to school to talk about, you know, like deciduous forests or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I can't remember the project. But I That's brought a crazy. raccoon yeah. in. <laughs> I think they're cool That's as shit. Awesome. Man. They are. They're raccoons. very smart. They're, they can be trained. They're, you know, um, Wisconsin is one of the few states where you can legally have them as pets. Well, did you hear that? 
<laughs> no, I didn't hear anything. I saw that on Google. I have to double check. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure in oh, the map there's about 10 firm. states that oh, it's official. What are you doing to me, BJ? <laughs> We're getting Way to go, BJ. Fucking trash yeah. panned on this table next week. Hey, guess I, what? I will. <laughs> Best way to end it is right now before she gets any other ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez Louise. So, with that being said, <laughs> for Jeff, for Kayla, for BJ, I am Sean. Thank you for listening to another wonderful edition of The Gentleman's Den. Make sure if you want any t-shirts or anything, go to smalltowninfamous.myspreadshop.com or I believe the link for The Gentleman's Den spread shop is in the YouTube bio. Definitely is. So go buy some merch so we can buy some more shit like raccoons. Yes.